Are you looking for the best shoes for high arch feet? Me too! <laughs> I just got back from the shoe store and I actually bought a pair. I tried on like 10 different pairs of shoes there and I want to show you guys what did I, I ended up getting because whenever the weather starts to change and it starts to get a little bit cooler, I notice that my foot, the inside of my foot starts to really hurt because of the tendon on the middle part of the foot gets stretched more. Uh, then that's called plantar fasciitis and so I was having a lot of pain right on the I'll show you all my feet. How about that? Right on the bottom of my foot right here. And my uh, the shoe store that I went to, they were showing me this board that they have. And it's got like some kind of heat sensitive thing to it where it basically shows you like where your pressure points are. But it also shows you like how much of your foot you're actually stepping uh, on the ground. And mine, it was kind of interesting because mine, whenever I got the graphic bag, it, may, it goes in so far and then it kind of comes down and swoops down. So my high arch goes in really, really far. And we were having a very hard time trying to fit that because most people's feet, they kind of just, they come uh, more like down right here. And that's where you get most of your arch support. But because mine goes out so far, I just needed something that had a little bit more oomph to it. And I'm going to talk to you guys about today what I got. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have, and I buy so I don't get plantar fasciitis and I can walk. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So I went to a place locally here called Try Running, and we tried on a whole bunch of different brands of shoes, styles of shoes. I really don't even know. I, I saw on the shelf that they had like New Balance, and there's another brand that I'd never heard of called Huga. Hookah? Hoo, hoo. It started with an H. I don't know. I ended up with this, which is Soskini. I didn't even look at the name brand until I got in the car because I was just totally going by feel. I was very uh, brand, what do you call that? Whenever you don't care about the brand. Um, what's that word? I can't think. Let me know down in the comments below if y'all can think of the word that I'm trying to say. But I ended up going with the, I wear a 10 and a half. She measured my foot. Uh, I usually have a wider foot too. We we're trying on some of the other shoes and she was saying that uh, that the, uh, m the most common one is a D and she was, tr let me try on one shoe and said, here, try these on. These are actually a little bit wider. They are, uh, D, e, uh, D, whatever the next one, uh, W2, no, W2 is a tax form. <laughs> whatever the one with the, with the two, I can't think of what it is, but, uh, I ended up, I didn't need that wide one because we found these and these fit the bill for not only the arch support, but also for the wideness of my foot. So well, let's get into these. This is the, does it say Omni 19? I'm assuming that's the white. They've got the white black look. That's the, the little bit of information that I have about the shoe right there. I'll put a link down in the description below too if you guys want to check these out. But uh, taking them out of the box here, nice black and white look. I wanted something that was going to be very easy uh, to keep clean and I figured black would do the best there. We were trying them on so we already had all the paper out of it and whatnot. What is all this? Pace chart? I don't know what all that is. That's interesting. I've never seen that on the back of a shoe box before, but we got these right here. First thing that I do whenever I pick up a shoe is I'll put my hand inside and I'll run my fingers along the insole because I want to see if I can feel the movement of how much support that it has. And this one had the most and the main reason for it is because the back part here where the heel sits in, I think it's called the heel cup. Um, you can feel, my, I can feel my fingers like going down into there. So I was like, okay, these look good. Let's try these things on. And so I tried them on, I walked in them, they felt great, but at a certain point I was like man it just doesn't it doesn't the, pro the same problem it doesn't hit way over here where I need that arch support because I get my plantar fasciitis like right in the middle of the foot right there and so I so I asked her do y'all have any type of insole type of stuff that I can put on there because I've used insoles before in fact I've done reviews of these before these are uh, super feet ones I wear them in my dress shoes here and um, these worked fairly well Although I noticed ever since I got my new pair of shoes that uh, in its winter time, I, I really noticed that that plantar fasciitis is coming. I was talking to the girl at the running store about plantar fasciitis and she was saying that in the winter time, your tendon is more, uh, how do you, or in the summertime, 
your tendon can stretch a little bit easier because of all the heat that your foot gets. But during the winter time, whenever your feet are more cold, that tendon's not as stretched out. And so that can cause plantar fasciitis to really hurt more during the winter time. And I think that that's what's going on with me. Uh, like I said, I've reviewed these super feet before. It does have the very nice cup here as well, like I was showing you guys in the inside, the heel cup of this foot. But um, I've been having these in here for a good while, and I'm, I did fixed it a little bit, but it wasn't like a, it's gone type of thing. I'd still feel it. In fact, in, is it this one? Yeah, in this one. I, I Actually, I think I did it in both. I have my old insert right here. This is my old one from my old shoes. And then I put the super feet one on top of that as well. So I'm actually wearing two insoles in the same shoe. So, uh, and it could just been because the old one was worn down so much, but I tried just using one super feet and it just wasn't cutting it for me. So I was talking to the girl and she, I, cause I noticed that they had super feet on the shelves at the store. And uh, she was like, yeah, you know, those, those sell every now and again, but these are the ones that she recommended. And it's uh, for the high profile size L or uh, L size. Well, I'm assuming that's large. And uh, it's a company called Curex, C-U-R-R-E-X. I'll link that up too down in the description below if you guys want to check these out. But this is the the brand. Or the, she had the board near this mock-up, whatever you call that, display shelf of it. And so she took out the board. We tested it. We found the right ones. This is the different uh, insole uh, foot measurements I guess you could say right here the four different ones and so mine I guess was more of this one right here which is an A which is a super high arch you can see how far over that arch goes even on this one too it's still got not as much because it doesn't have this piece right here mine looked a little bit more like that but I really needed that inward movement of the arch I really needed it over the middle of my foot so I went with the high profile one right here and uh Man, i told telling you what, I slipped these things in and I was like, wow, I can feel the difference on that. So this is what they look like, the blue ones here. On the back too, they have the uh, the metal, or not the metal, the plastic piece right there, just like these Super Feet have. But one thing that I like about these Curex ones, better than the Super Foot, is that the Super Foot is just one big giant plastic thing. And this one is uh, broken up into three different pieces there. Mainly the main plastic piece is on the arch support here. And it's got a little rubber action there. Like a little grip mat here to where it actually holds into the foot. You can also see how far down this heel cup goes. Y'all see that? It is huge right there. So you get a lot of... Uh, a lot of... Uh, support coming from this area which is where I need it and just comparing that to the insert that comes with your regular tennis shoes look I mean you can see there is no but barely add that there's a little bit of arch support on the side here but as far as in the middle there's just nothing there and it didn't have as deep of a heel cup here so I was very excited whenever I asked her about these uh, arch supports because uh, we put one in in these shoes right here and these were just, it was like a game changer for me, really. Um, so, put these on. Uh, uh, uh. And man, you can just, I can feel like contact all throughout the back of my foot on the side. Plenty of room in the heel cup there. I just, I think that these are going to be the perfect shoes for high arch feet or anybody who like, if you go running and you have high arches or you do any type of sports, uh, and you have issues with high arches, I can definitely recommend, uh, these son, son I don't know how to say that. Sonsi, Sonki, Sonkinyi. I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments below how you say that. Um, I can recommend these just from what I've tried out in the store and, uh, I can recommend these these Curex ones just from my experience with these other Superfeet one and seeing how different they are now that I have uh, two side by side that I can actually compare. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. Hold on. Let me get this one so you get a better angle. You can see the difference in the arch support there comparing the, the roundness right here to this huge like rainbow <laughs> arch right there that's going on. <sighs> these just seem... I'm excited about this. I'm definitely gonna do a follow-up video about these shoes 
to let you guys know, and these arch supports, to let you guys know if I'm noticing my plantar fasciitis coming back or if it's gone, because we're just getting into to winter right now, so I should really be able to tell as I wear my shoes more. So if you guys want to see the, that follow-up review, I'm going to put that right there on the screen. You guys go click that video. I'll see you on that video. In the meantime, I'll put a video that YouTube thinks you're going to like right here. <laughs> YouTube says, watch this video, so you should watch it. <laughs> Thank you, dads, for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated, and dad out.